And that was captured by this little guy right here. It is the Zoom IQ7, and it's a stereo microphone. And I think it captured this bandmate concert pretty well. But it did stop my phone from turning back on, and it has some weird digital artifacts that was going through the recording. Also, I thought it broke it at one point, but I figured out what went wrong with all these, and I'm going to tell you guys about that right now. But before we get into it, go ahead and hit the like button so I know that you are interested in videos like this because I'll do more. So some cool things about this, as you can see on here on this lever right here, it has three options. You have a 90 degree stereo field, you have a 120 degree stereo field, and you have this one that says M-S. And all that means is that you can switch between both options if you're using the app to edit the video. If you decide not to use the app to edit the video and you accidentally record it on this setting, it automatically defaults to 120 degree stereo field. I'll tell you right now, 120 is the way to go. It sounded the best to me. Now, as far as this mic goes, you can rotate it. And the reason why this is important is because there's one for video shoot and then there's one for audio shooting if you're like using it as like a mic. So for the mic version of it, what you want to do is you're going to turn it up like this. It goes like this, turn it, and then put it like that, and then you would point it at the person that's talking or whatnot. If you're doing an interview or something, it is the idea of this, and you just plug it into the phone. You always want the dial here where the screen is showing, and that's how you would shoot it, like so. It would be like this. Now, the other mode is for the video shoot. So you turn this thing back like that. So it has these little guideline arrows on the top. You make sure it's uh, pointing in the direction that you're recording. So if you have it hold it like this with the video, you would go ahead and plug it in. And then you see you have your dial right here. And this controls the input of what you are recording. And right here we have the LED lights that are indicators to let you know if you are clipping. It'll go red. I'm trying to make it clip. There you go. I'm making a clip. Clip, 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 clip. Keep in mind, do not plug and unplug this multiple times because I made that mistake and my phone didn't turn on. So I could, there was a bandmate concert that I couldn't even record a, even a little bit of it because it completely stopped my phone from turning on. So what it did was it reset the firmware in it and it did something to it where it made and not turn on. Good news is there's a fast way to reset it. All you do is you hit the volume button up, down really fast. So up, down, and then you hold this button. Now we, when we first tried to do this, it didn't reset. You have to hold it down for like a good minute and then it restarts and the Apple sign comes on and then my phone worked like new. If it still doesn't work, you can plug it into your MacBook and do the same routine, the up, down, and then the side and it'll reset. So another thing that this can do, which was I thought the most helpful is I had my uh, headphones that you just plug in the bottom and you can monitor the volume too. Now I didn't use the app that comes with this microphone. If you do want me to do a review on the app, let me know and I'll do one. All right, so now to talk about about the audio glitch thing that I had. <laughs> I was freaking out the entire time. I was going, tss, tss. I'm like, what is going on? What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so what you have to do so you don't get the audio glitching thing is you have to go on airplane mode. So if you don't go on airplane mode, you're going to get all this glitching. Now, I went... Like when you go on airplane mode though, be careful because the Bluetooth stays on. Just shut off the Bluetooth. Shut off anything that will get signal on there. Make sure that only airplane is highlighted. Because I did not do that and I freaked out and I tested it, but it didn't do the noise. So it doesn't do it all the time. But once I switched it to airplane mode and took out the Bluetooth, then it just stopped. The other last thing that I discovered about the microphone is that it comes with this foam piece that you put on. And it's so it's really helpful when we're when you're out in windy areas. That's this thing it stops wind from getting inside the microphone so anyways i'm pulling this off <laughs> as i was doing it it kept like pulling out don't freak out if this happens just push it back in and you're good to go all right I, it wasn't actually broken so yeah what happened was it got like this far off and it's all like wiggly I'm like ah, oh, i broke it and then so i found out later you can actually replace these pieces so just to keep that in mind from that footage i just showed again it sounded pretty damn good if you're just there to film the concert get a good sound or film a song here and there this is pretty good mic to do that with I would say. Here's another video I did with just the iPhone mic alone. This is the iPhone 12. If you want to check that out, see ya!